Yeah, I can do it. Don't attempt this at home. Definitely dangerous. Switch lanes. Bring it back so we don't go to the barrier. Keep it cruised. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Look off to the left. Oh my god. The lake with the colored trees. I love New England, but I hate it. Hold on. Got a dirt bike on the sidewalk. What is going on? That looks old as hell, too. I actually like this bridge a lot. Looks nice. Kind of scary, though, when I think about it. How high up we are. Quite scary. I'm getting off it. <laughs> Let me know how you guys like this view. It's fall out here in New England. Hopping on Route 9, I rode it the other day. It was so beautiful. All the leaves, colors. Nice. There's kind of a nice cruise. Test out cruise control. Oh. Just a good ride. I want to get around this dump truck. I got the power to do it. I was just getting up to speed limit. Don't worry. This is beautiful. Let's try out cruise control. What is it set at? 68? No, let's put it up as high as it can go, 80. No, we don't get past. Quite windy, though. I don't know if I can do no hands. I can do it. Don't attempt this at home. Definitely dangerous. Switch lanes. Bring it back so we don't go to the barrier. Keep it cruised. Oh my god. You gotta like use your hands for little movements. And if you need a big movement, you use your legs. Like this one, this is a little turn. I don't have to use my legs. If I go too far, then I will. It's correct, but don't need to. Other people said they've been having problems with cruise. If I'm using cruise and it just jerks and turns off cruise, it's going to be bad. <laughs> 80 miles per hour. Trucker passed us. Whatever. Cross your arms. Just cruise with it. Haha. <laughs> Why does everyone drive like that with two hands like this? I don't understand that. I'd be looking like everyone would be driving like that. Oh my god, it looks great right here. Everyone drives with two hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> How about this guy? Nah. This older lady. A granny.
the vibes out here in New England during the fall time are great. I love it. Oh, yeah. Move out of the way. Give him a little foot wave. He's looking, too. A little foot action. It's not good all the time to take your hand off the bars. So I just give him a little wave with the foot. It looks insane, dude. Insane. Like, look at this in front of me. It's a great. Just getting up to speed limit. Don't worry. Downshift. The downshift on this bike sounds so good. Bit of gear. Let's go right around. I've been told this by so many people, like, with my helmets on, just because of, like, how colorful they are. <laughs> oh, I thought they were, that's like an alien walking in this place. <laughs> I've got to just start waving at people when they stare at me. Just wave. <laughs> I'm always consistent. I'm trying to be, like, consistent in the quality of videos I'm making. I feel like some of them, I'm just like, the edits aren't that good, and they're just like, nope, they're not thought out or nothing. I want all my videos to be like, thought out, well, uh, I don't know, well edited. I just want them to be produced. I just want them to look good, basically, all of them. I want them to all be on, like, the same quality level. So that's what I'm going to work on. And if you like the videos, you like this bike, you want to know more about this bike, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos on this thing. I still got the x pack and be posting a lot on that. So, just stay tuned. Oh, we're in Middletown, Middletown, New York. Got a dirt bike on the sidewalk. What is going on? That looks old as hell, too. What are you doing? I wait. No ways back. It's okay. Look into the turn. Lean it over.
I actually like this bridge a lot. Looks nice. Kind of scary though when I think about it. How high up we are. Quite scary. I'm getting off it. <laughs> Makes me nervous. You just gotta be defensive when you're driving. Always scan the road. It might not look like I am, but obviously I got the visor on. I'm always, I'm always scanning the road. Seeing what's happening. Someone turns on their turn signal. You never know where you are, you are, where you are in their blind. If you're in their blind spot or what. So I just instantly just move over this side. If they come, I'll be ready to either gas this, slow down, whatever the case is. Just gotta be aware. I want to race. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, Subi. Subi boy. Alright, come on. Why are you hitting the brakes so much? I just tightened the chain yesterday as well. I feel like I loosened up a little already. No wave. Fuck you. This guy got mad lights on his car. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, like, light bars. Well, two of them are, like, pod lights. Or four. That's crazy. I got one light bar on my car. He's tripping. Alright, let's get out of Middletown, New York. Why'd you beep at me? I don't understand. What's beeping gonna do? I'll beep at her. You've been at me? I'm really liking this thing though. 2,200 miles in, basically. Really liking it. Cat delete should be here any day now. It's in Connecticut. I don't know what they're. Why it takes three days for it to get delivered when it's already in Connecticut. But that's not the point. I like the bike. Every function. It's got its quirks. Certain things are like weird. I I can't even think of what it is right now. Oh, like an eco. But I think it's because it's running lean. It like, it'll like stutter and stuff. But I don't use eco. It'll stutter every once in a while. It's not often where I have my like, oh, this needs to be fixed. But I do want to get it mapped or whatever they call it, flash. I don't know what it is. Just the fuel-air uh, ratio needs to be adjusted. It's getting too much air and not enough fuel. You can tell by the exhaust pipe, too. Right by the head, it's uh, turning purple. So... The lean issue needs to be fixed, but other than that, really, it's got no problems. I don't have that problem with cruise control like other people do. And everything else is just solid. I mean, I think this is a great purchase. I was a little hesitant. I was going to go with a Japanese counterpart of this, MTO. Uh, I was going to go with the MTO 9, not the 7, but or the XRS 900. And I'm actually kind of glad I got this. It's cheaper. Um, there's still a lot of support for it. There's a lot of aftermarket on AliExpress and stuff, and it's just a great build quality. Starts up every time. I just like it. I'm I'm actually glad I got this. What's that? It's an Ace Hardware. I think it's huge. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I loosened up the front shocks. I made them softer, like six clicks, and uh, <laughs> that guy just gave me the whole head. I went like that though. Um, six clicks. And uh, it was worse. It just felt so so unstable, even more than it already does. And it's not that bad now. I tightened it back up uh, more clicks than before. So I loosened it, made it softer, six clicks. I tightened it, uh, made it harder, se uh, seven or eight clicks. I can't remember. Where am I going? All right.
and um, feels better now. Need to get a vibration dampener. The rear shock I loosened made it softer, six clicks, and it feels fine. It's way better. I could loosen it more, but I don't want to. I like it how it is now. The front, I'm just going to get a vibration dampener and call it a day. I've actually gotten used to how it handles now, so it's not that big of a deal of how unstable it feels at high speeds. It's not a big deal anymore. I'm used to it. I know how to uh, like compensate, but oh, oh fucker, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> I know how to compensate for it, but I want to get one just in case. Maybe it'll make the ride a little better. And then once that happens, I can probably loosen up the shocks again in the front. I need to get a windscreen as well. That's one of my next things I need to do. I want one that's blacked out though, like black tin on it. I don't want a clear one. I feel like it'll ruin the look of the bike. And I want one that's matching the, the style of the bike. Because I've seen people put one on and it's like circular like this. And I feel like it, it looks like it does its purpose, but I feel like it just makes the bike look so much, uh, I don't know, it makes it look ugly. I don't like it. It is for, uh, it has its purpose, but I want to find one that will make it still look nice and uh, and do its job. Something like that Harley had, I don't want that. So. Windscreen. Oh, Havali's right here. Forgot about that place, Indian Restaurant. But yeah, overall, love this bike. I got no complaints, really. Oh, look at that. Look off to the left. Oh, my God. The lake with the colored trees. I love New England, but I hate it. Hold on. I got I to gotta exaggerate a little bit when I do that. <laughs> but look at the trees off to the left, dude. Uh, beautiful. Some guy asked me on my Instagram if... Uh, only bike he's had is the LaFon uh, KP Mini. He was like, is this a good bike to get? I don't know what to say, to be honest. It really just depends how long you've been riding. Because you could put it in eco. Like, look, put it in eco. Let's put it in first. Look. It doesn't have much pull in eco. Like, if you're not used to the, the power, the pullback, just keep it in eco. But at the same time, it still goes 100 and some miles per hour, while the KP goes, like, it'll, it'll hit 70 eventually. So I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a good idea to get this bike, but I don't know. If you have enough experience on the KP Mini, you could definitely do it. Like, I've been riding since I was real young, and I started on dirt bikes, and then I went to the um, KP Mini. The first red one got stolen. Check out that video. And then, and then the green one which broke from Uber, and then the X-Pac. They're all low CCs. I've never had anything over 200 CCs, so. But I was already so ready, and uh, I've been riding for a long time, and uh, I don't know, I was just ready. I knew I was ready for something bigger. Now, I could have gone up to, like, a 400 and been satisfied with that, but I want something a little more. And I, when I heard about these things coming out, but yeah, if you think you're ready and you know how to handle, you know how to handle your bike and you can take it slow and you have throttle control, then yeah, I would go for it. But it's not a beginner bike at all. Definitely not. Not in sport. Look at this. It's not a beginner bike. <laughs> you got to have throttle control. And that's probably the hardest thing for me to work on because I have great throttle control on the other bikes, but... Those bikes I could pretty much pin everywhere I went. Unlike this bike, you cannot pin it everywhere you go. You're going to get in some serious trouble or you're going to get seriously hurt. So that's one thing you'd have to learn when you get on this one. You have to learn throttle control. But it's all up to you. If you think you're ready for it, and if, even if you're not, and you, like you need something bigger and you think this is the one for you, just keep it in eco for a while. Get used to the handling of the bike and then put it in sport after. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to try to keep the content, uh, like, up to par in quality. And, yeah, just stay tuned for the journey, man. I ain't even getting started yet. See you next week.